come on. Everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. So we're gonna stop at this Loves here. We've been driving for about two hours already this morning, so it's about 130 something miles, maybe a little bit less. Um, but we're gonna stop at this Loves and uh, get some food. It's 11 a.m. and then we have like 340 miles left to go today, so we'll knock that out in a row. It's like five five hours and 40 minutes maybe a little less give or take um, but we're gonna try to see there should be parking I mean it's I think I just stopped at this one honestly I think I got fuel here the other day in breakfast I think that's what I did I think I did stop here I think I got like a ham and cheese on a sourdough bun or something come on bro Yeah, no shit. One quarter mile, turn right, then take the second right. Just like, look, dude, I'm coming. I have the right of way. Give it a look. We're just gonna park where we can, though. Which looks like. Is that a pull through? I won't be here for too long, so we'll just treat it as a pull through, even though it might be for shop, but screw it. There's no cone, so just pull in here for now. Alrighty. So about another three and a half hours went by. Just went through Knoxville. Well, around it on 675, but uh, we're gonna stop here in about 12 miles and fill up because we're getting down to that quarter mile, or not quarter mile, quarter tank mark. So, uh, and then I think we'll probably be stopped around 6 p.m. tonight. I think we got like another 140 miles left, but uh, stopping around six. And then tomorrow morning, we're probably gonna wake up at 6.30 and roll out because uh, we're 44 miles away. Uh, but our appointment's at eight and it's kind of on the way to Atlanta. So I'm thinking there might be some traffic. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe 645, something like that. So that's the game plan for tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, I'll just really have to see how many miles out I am once I get stopped for the night and then plan accordingly. Add maybe like 10, 15 minutes for traffic. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get unloaded in a jiffy and then get a good load maybe from like Atlanta because tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday so a load from like Atlanta to like Omaha or something would be pretty sweet according to trucker path the only uh, spots remaining are paid I hope that's not true it is 530 there is a lot of trucks ahead of me as well so oh come on can we get some engine braking here no we can't just all brakes <laughs> but we're gonna get in here I'm gonna go ahead and cut the clip I was hoping I could just get up and go but obviously I'm gonna have to wait a minute or two this is a huge mess I don't even know what color the light is I can't see I'm guessing it's red since it's KLL I'm stopping I can't see up there bro and there's no light facing us but I, I just <laughs> I don't know what's going on I, I have no idea What is going on, bro? Come on. Seems like everyone's trying to get into the uh, TA here, so. But I have a green light, so I, I don't know. This is crazy. Good thing in the morning, hopefully around six, it won't be this bad. But I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, Landstar, don't turn in there. It's not meant for trucks, buddy. Yeah, I'm guessing it's paid only. No, uh, there's probably some free left. It 
This is a cluster mess, dude. This is the worst I've ever seen it. Now it wants the engine brake, but it, that was a lot. Honestly, I think my least favorite trucking carrier that I've ever like driven behind is KLM. I think like a lot of them, bro, have no idea what they're doing. Like you'll have one fly by you at 70 and then like two miles down the road, you'll see the same guy doing like 62. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like straight, it's not like he's even going uphill, you know? I might. space there come on KLM see this is what I'm talking about they're so slow dude like I'm max weight I'm 78,000 pounds and I just I don't get it I don't get it someone's gonna be like oh you ran that red light yeah kind of <laughs> kind of right. all right he's out of my way no more of that nonsense that guy was annoying me. This TA probably has a thousand trucks pull into it every day. So I'm guessing, I mean, I've been here before, but you know, the lot isn't the best. Let's see if we can find a free parking spot though. I got some in my teeth. I really don't, it's $25 a night here. I really don't want to pay for it. Like not one bit. Not one bit, but I will if I have to. I've paid for parking here a couple times, so. This guy coming this way. I always like to go the way that I don't see people coming towards. No, that's not gonna work here. It looks like it's already failed. Son of a gun. I thought I saw a couple spots, but I guess I didn't. All right, so he ended up getting that spot. I'm gonna see if there's anything. Oh, there's a drop freaking trailer, dude. That crap pisses me off. I understand bobtails, but drop trailers. Piss me off. These reserved? Oh, go figure they are. Go figure. Are these reserved back here? This is this is ridiculous. These are all reserved, bro. How do you make everything reserved? It's so messed up. I guess these probably aren't down here. Those all are. Are they? Yeah, they are. That one's not though. Oh shit. take that spot on the end. Is he gonna take it? 
God dang it, bro. All right, we're just gonna take a paid spot. You're not even close there, bud. I'll let you mess with it though. I'm not gonna wait on you. It's gonna take too long to do that. You'd have to back it in like this. Alright. Whatever. I I haven't like when I got hired I asked the them what's the website for reimbursements. I don't even know if I'm recording anymore. I am. And they gave me the website, but, uh, or no, they never gave me the link. So, I've just been not sending anything in for reimbursements, which is stupid on my part, because that's a lot of money I've just been missing out on. But, it is what it is sometimes, so we're just gonna grab a spot down here sucks because I didn't want to pay for it, but I'm going to have to, sadly. I have no other choices to park tonight, so we're going to go next to this maroon guy here. this inside line though that way everybody has room on that other side to get in if they need right there is gonna work all right we'll see you guys in the morning all right so i think we're at the right place um, I'm trying to figure out which way we're supposed to go though. Driver's entrance, all truck traffic to the right. Okay. Wait, is this right? Hold on. I need to look. Um, which is the address I'm going to? Fifty-five hundred. Okay, I think, yeah, I need to go right. That is correct. Okay, I just gotta make sure that I can't, I can't go through, this isn't the right place, so. Receiving open 7 a.m. I don't think it's the right place. I'm just gonna go around back. From what I read online is you need to go around back. But I did wake up early enough this morning. Um, I woke up an hour and 15 minutes early and it was 47 miles away. So I hit Atlanta traffic pretty hard. And so then we're late. But we're only, well I guess we're 20 minutes late. 15 minutes late. I'm sure they'll take me because obviously like, you know. But um, let's hope right because i can i mean i could have woke up maybe another 15 minutes i don't even know where i need to go to check in though
guessing I probably am supposed to park over here or something. I don't know where the receiving door is, but just park next to this guy and then go check in, I guess. Maybe not right next to him, but near him. Let me go check in. All right, so we got our door assigned here. Um, we got to we either got to turn in our keys or lower our landing gear and all that fun stuff. So we're just gonna turn in our keys. I mean, lower our landing gear. So we got our next load. It's two. It has two stops on it, but it it, it ruins my day um, because so basically we have let's see we got 80 miles here, 84 miles till we get to the shipper, which I'm gonna stop and get lunch because I already know it's gonna be a hell of a day. Uh, anyways, we got 84 miles and then we got to pick up. At, it says noon on there, but Cornell said one. So we pick that up and then uh, at 4 p.m. it delivers in the same town and then the other stops in Omaha, Nebraska. So it kind of sucks. Like I'm, cause like, it's, cause headed to Omaha, the only place like, well, depends on how many hours I'm gonna have. Cause I didn't use a sleeper split there, which I'm glad I didn't, but hopefully at one of the next places I can so I can freeze my clock and then I don't waste all these hours and then I probably can get past Nashville tonight which I'm gonna need to do because there's like no truck stops between Atlanta and Nashville that have parking all day I'm gonna need to find somewhere that has parking late at night 
and that's not gonna be very likely so so we're supposed to park down here and then get checked in and then she was like if it's a drop and hook they'll do whatever but I don't think it's a drop and hook I think it's a live load so also I have no idea where I'm gonna park she said down here right next to these guys so can't really see anything either is there uh, somewhere to turn around maybe doesn't really look like it in this white truck. I guess I was looking at it wrong. The first place took uh, two hours to load 10 carpet rolls. And then I called Cornell and I was like, hey, the load says it's going to Memphis. That's not right, right? And he's like, no, it's going to Omaha. Uh, and I was like, it's only 10 rolls. He's like, it's supposed to be 22 rolls. And so then we found out together that 
I'm supposed to go to this other place. Instead of unloading there, I'm getting more carpet on the trailer. So that is gonna be fun. I don't know how that's gonna load, but we're gonna find out, I guess. Um, hopefully it's not too heavy. I'm thinking like 35,000 pounds max at this other place, cause they didn't load it together. It's loaded separately. So I, I don't know. I'm hoping that we can scale out and make it legal. Um, but I'm hoping also they just stack on top of the other load. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not too heavy. The lady in the office said it's not going to take very long to get loaded here, but it's three times as many rolls as I picked up at the other place. So we're going to find out. I, I literally felt like it's supposed to be 22 rolls and she told me they're loading 31 more on the trailer. So we'll see how this goes. I have no idea how this is about to go. Looks like I'm supposed to sit on the inside line. Kind of off here. It's okay. That should be pretty much straight. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna use my left foot to brake because I notice there's no rubber pads on these plates. All right, we need to chalk the wheels and then. Uh, as of now, we got like seven hours and 50 minutes left. We'll see how this goes. I don't know where my GoPro battery's at, but uh, we're stopping at this one nine here um, because I got five hours left of drive time, but it's already been an 11 hour day. And the problem that lies is that um, five hours away is pretty much Nashville. <laughs> and I'm not finding parking near Nashville, so. I think we're just gonna shut down here. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah. Let me show you how I'm living. Come on.